few years ago, I was working on a project with a colleague. And one night, we were doing some research and drinking some beers. That day, I really wished that I could send someone to a friend's birthday party as a replacement for myself, another person or a machine. Wait, I was shocked about myself. How was it possible that I would want to entrust my private life to someone else? Why would I prefer to work instead of going to my friend's party and having some fun? But in fact, the concept is nothing new. We humans are always gladly outsourcing work and free time. So who of you likes to outsource unpleasant duties to someone else? Yeah. Think about it. We get help to raise our children. We get our food delivered to our doors. And nowadays, you can also hire someone to stand in line. <laughs> but you can also get the potty trainer for your small one. There are millions of possibilities to outsource tasks or to pay a service that will make your life a little bit more convenient. From the digital assistant, apps, machines, and most of all, human-based services. So nowadays, you can rent a grandma, she will teach you how to cook or will serve you with delicious homemade dishes. You can also hire a dad, a guy who pretends to be your dad or the father of your child. And a lot of moms do that just to make their kid a little bit more happier. The delivery priest comes all the way through the city to your house, so you don't have to leave your home if you want to pray. All services are made for an easier, better, and faster life. So why would you outsource a private or a social task to someone else? Maybe you have to work really long. Maybe you just want to avoid an uncomfortable situation, or you simply have no time. Maybe you want to enjoy a little bit of time off and relax after a long year of work. Also really appealing is the option to get super helpful support, right? But when would you prefer a human instead of a machine to help or replace you? There are some really sophisticated technologies around these ideas. But in fact, the demand for more support from humans for humans will increase within the future of automatization. More people can afford to outsource or get an on-site support. There is also a request for customized help as well as for individual and extraordinary services. So I prototyped and advertised some services, offering my time to run various errands or help emotionally. There was the option to hire me as a support or to experience leisure time through me. I offered to take place at family celebration, Christmas parties and school plays. It was quite amusing to talk with people about my possibilities and of my services and it was also very interesting to hear their considerations. It involved in the platform for discussion and exchange. People talked to me about their advantages, their disadvantages, their fears and their needs to outsource. That was a groundbreaking reason for me to take it one step further and I created a platform where I investigated new jobs which will raise within the future of the service industry, always thinking about the value and the strengths of human and what we will do and work in the future. So this is the Other Self Agency, a website where fixtures and sometimes bizarre services are offered. Skilled human service staff will adapt their services to the emotional needs of people. So the agent shares their knowledge or their experience through live streams, photos, and a summary. You can also send emojis if you want.
the agent offers two kinds of services. Services for those who want but cannot, and services for those who need but don't want to complete certain tasks. The customer can give up uncomfortable tasks or receive on-site support by buying themselves either time, pleasure, or advantages. So see well through their eyes and rent one of our agents. You may now think, what kind of people would use such an activity, right? Let's see, who of you enjoys going to funerals? I mean, who really wants to go there and who really needs to go there? So this is Martin, a customer of the Other Self Agency, and he left a recommendation for us today because Martin doesn't like to go to funerals anymore. He often books the same support agent to go there for or with him. He also gets the prime version, a trained psychologist, for extra support. All his friends appreciate her being there. She asks so nice questions about the deceased, and she's such an angel. So thank you, Sandra, for being with Martin. Have you ever had the situation where you had two appointments, two parties, or two dinners, and you needed to choose at which one you want to attend? In Austria, we say you can't dance on two parties, but we have a solution. Sophie was invited to go to Tina's birthday party. However, she chose to go to a much cooler party that evening. So she simply got an agent for Tina, because she simply wanted to know all about the gossip, the highlights, and she wanted to be part of the agent summary, which she can actually do within, yeah, within the summary. <laughs> Turns out the party was not so exciting because there were more agents than actual guests. <laughs> Poor Tina. So these were just two examples of the other self-agency. But if you want, you can visit our website online or you can come to our first pop-up shop in Vienna, which will open up in November, and get one agent for yourself or a job. Yeah, we just want you to be happy. And these obscure examples should point out how important outsourcing could be and how we live life today. It is a sociocultural subject and a look into a possible future that questions the service industry of tomorrow. So where is it socially valuable to get help? Where do we lose valuable moments if we exchange an experience to another person? Would we only move in our comfort zone and don't have to face unpleasant situations anymore? Would we then be still healthy? I have a very ambivalent opinion on the subject because I think outsourcing is more than helpful in some life situation, in care for kids or elderly, especially if we look at the time shortage of our society. Maybe a more important question would be, why is there such a need to outsource? Why are we running out of time by living our daily lives? How will we live in the future? You're all here right now, but are you still a part of your own life? Think about it. Thank you. <laughs>